What is up party people today? I'm bringing you outside for a little quick video because on the inside I'm getting a couple new lights for my whole new lighting system for my whole MWG studio So I can't really bring you inside because you won't even see my face because I removed all my lights And I'm kind of getting some brand new lights shipped from Amazon But today we are talking about how May 2019 is kind of a pretty impactful month in terms of tech There's three main products that I want to talk about the Boosted Rev, the DJI Osmo Action, and the OnePlus 7 Pro. Good thing I was blessed with this nice Miami weather. I'm just soaking in all of those Miami rays. But I got to talk about the Boosted Rev, which is an electric scooter. And we all know electric scooters. It's like the most popular lifestyle trend in these past two years with all these rental electric scooters alongside all of these urban sidewalks. Some cities actually completely ban them. One's if you own it yourself, an electric scooter, and this one is gonna cost you $1,600 or $1,600 for this boosted rev. It's not the boosted board rev because now boosted board makes more products other than just boosted electric skateboards. But anyways, the boosted rev has a top speed of 24 miles per hour and it could go up a 30 percent incline so if you ever been to san francisco that city is literally just so hilly it's like up and down up and down so you could go up the hill and you could also go down there's like three different ways to brake yeah regenerative the actual brakes and also reverse the top speed or the top speed is 24 but the range the top range is 22 miles so this isn't too bad you could definitely go from your daily commute from your house to work back to your house so the boosted rev is an interesting proposition for an electric skateboard it's definitely the high end it's definitely got that range the speed and of course that regenerative braking but like is it worth sixteen hundred dollars not for me. there was some commotion outside so i just brought you inside to my very very old kind of just simple bedroom i mean you still get those sound panels so this audio should sound crispy but also another tech product that we got and received this may 2019 is the dji osmo action the osmo action doesn't seem too impressive on the surface but when you compare it to let's say the gopro hero 7 there's a couple benefits and one of them is being that there's double the screens and this is huge for vloggers and this was a huge need for me a huge kind of bullet point on my wish list for the next gopro hero 8 but instead i'm probably just gonna buy the hero action not the hero action the osmo action and the osmo action has a like 1.6 inch display on the front and a 2.7 on the back so if you just vlog you can kind of set up on the viewfinder on what the camera is seeing and also it's 50 dollars cheaper then the GoPro Hero 7 and of course the DJI Osmo Action has its own super digital stabilization called Rock Steady and it's also available in more formats than the Hyper Smooth on the DJI Hero 7. So the DJI Osmo Action for $350 is going to be very interesting competition for GoPro who has kind of been struggling for these past five years in sales and revenue. And the last tech product that I want to get into is by far the most impressive and that's the OnePlus 7 Pro which is on sale right now. You can go to OnePlus website and buy it for yourself starting at $670 or $700 if you go directly into a T-Mobile store. I'm probably going to visit a T-Mobile store next week because I want to see this beautiful device. And why is it so beautiful you might ask? It has a edge to edge completely bezel-less. 6.7 inch 1440p full hd plus h hdr 10 support oh my gosh 90 hertz fluid amoled display that was just a lot of adjectives and i just kind of rambled on right now the oneplus 7 pro has the best display in any smartphone right now even better than samsung not only is it like the full hd plus edge to edge kind of got those nice curved off edges making the content feel endless kind of like the infinity display from samsung but also samsung can't even compete with the 90 hertz refresh rate on the oneplus 7 pro i mean every other smartphone practically like 
98% of smartphones have a 60 hertz refresh rate display, which means that like when you're scrolling, it's kind of like a little bit responsive, but when you go to 90 hertz and especially 120 hertz on displays such as the iPad Pro, it is just so fluid when you're scrolling like bop, bop, bop. But with that 90 hertz, you're gonna take a little hit in battery life. And where is the front facing camera, you might ask, with that edge to edge display? It's in this motorized front facing camera, which pops in and out. And on the back, we've got a nice triple rear camera setup, which is kind of impressive from OnePlus. And in the past, you kind of see them slacking with the camera, but they kind of made up for all those slacks in the past. And now there's a triple camera setup with one 48 megapixel primary, a three times telephoto, and of course, we gotta get in that super wide angle in 2019. The OnePlus 7 Pro main selling points is that it's super fast with that Snapdragon 855 and that U UFS universal flash storage 3.1, which makes like transferring storage super, super fast. So overall, with that 90 hertz refresh rate, it's got the best display in a smartphone possibly the best Android performance in any Android smartphone, but you're gonna have to take like a little bit of some drawbacks with the price being at $670. And one of that is gonna be the camera. It's not gonna be a top five flagship camera. It's gonna be good enough for many people, especially in broad daylight, but just when you get into those nice situations and it's just not gonna be as good as comparing to the Pixel 3, Samsung S10, Huawei P30 Pro, or the iPhone XS Max, et cetera, et cetera. And also we have to note that the OnePlus 7 Pro does not have, you know, wireless charging or the glass back or the two-way reverse wireless charging. And of course, an official waterproof rating OnePlus. I know you dropped it in a bucket, but still, where's that official waterproof rating? And that is all we have for today. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to get a quick video out on those three main May 2019 tech products. We got the Boosted Rev, which many people don't even know about or even will ever buy for sure because it is $1,600 and it's just an electric skateboard. Like, why can't you get a $200 hoverboard? Well, I mean, it doesn't go 22 miles and 24 miles per hour top speed. But anyways, we have the DJI Osmo Action, and for that product, I am just excited to see more consumer competition because that is just great for us who's buying those products, and also very excited to see how DJI is just tackling every single camera genre. And of course, the beloved OnePlus 7 Pro. I love how it comes in at $670 and not like 800 because it easily could have, but it's all the way down and competing with the iPhone XR and the Samsung S10e. But thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the latest and greatest. Peace out. Three, two, one.